This is a plain text file. I've downloaded it from Project Gutenberg's website. It is a Sherlock Holmes story. Because this is a plain text file, there are return characters at the end of every line. Um, you know, Word calls them paragraph marks. Um, this is in a Word document right now, and I want to see those paragraph marks. So I'm going to go up here on my Home tab, and I'm going to turn on the Show Hide button. And now I can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, I can see every place where somebody hit the Enter key. Okay, so because they hit the Enter key at the end of every single line in here, which is what you have to do in a text file, it Word thinks that every single line is a paragraph because the Enter key is what's used to mark the end of a paragraph in Word. Now, if we take a look through here, uh, the document looks fairly nice. However, uh, if you want to edit it, let me scroll down a little ways here. We've got all this stuff at the beginning. Okay, so if I want to go down here and edit it, and let's say I just want to type in a little bit of extra text, and it doesn't really matter, then uh, this is what I end up with. And now it doesn't look good anymore uh, because Word thinks that this is still one paragraph, and when it gets to the paragraph mark, it's supposed to go down to a new line. So if you have something that looks like this, and you would like to be able to pull it from some other source and bring it into Word so that you can edit it correctly in Word, then what you want to do is you want to make each one of these collections of lines that looks like a paragraph into a real paragraph. Now I'm going to delete this stuff that I put in here. And what we need to do is, as you scroll through here, you see that every place where a paragraph ended, there are actually two paragraph marks. So here's one and here's one. Every place where a line ends, uh, there's only one paragraph mark. So what I want to do is I would like to get rid of all of these paragraph marks at the end of a single line and replace them with spaces. I would like to take every place where there's two paragraph marks and replace them by a single paragraph mark. Okay. Now I can't just tell it to replace everything with spaces because then I lose these two paragraph marks at the end of every paragraph as well. So I'm going to have to be a little bit tricky here. I'm going to go back to the top of the document. And what I want to do is I want to keep track of where all of these paragraph breaks are. So I'm going to do a find and replace. So I'm going to do a control H. And uh, what I want to find is I want to find every place where there's two paragraph marks. Well, the code for a paragraph mark is a caret symbol followed by a lowercase p. And I want it to look for two of them. So caret p, caret p will find any place where there's two paragraph marks. That's just a code that Word uses uh, so that you can look for paragraph marks. And what I want to replace it with, I want to replace it with something that would not normally appear in my text. So something kind of unusual. So I'm going to do slash, slash, slash. Okay. And I'm going to tell it that I want to replace all of those. So I'm going to do it, go ahead and click on replace all and click on okay and click on close. And now you can see I still have the paragraph. I need to scroll down a little bit here. So, uh, where I've got some longer paragraphs. I've still got a single paragraph mark at the end of every line and I've got three paragraph or three slashes at the end of every paragraph. Okay, well now what I can do is I can take the remaining paragraph marks, which I want to be replaced by spaces, and replace them with spaces. So I'm going to do another Control H to bring up my find and replace. And every place where there is a single paragraph mark, I want to replace that with not three slashes this time, but just a single space. So hit space bar once, tell it to replace all. And there was a bunch of them in there. Click on OK and click on close. Now what I've got is one enormous paragraph as far as Word is concerned, but I know that every place where I've got three slashes here, that that is where a paragraph mark is actually supposed to be. So now I just go back and I take all of those paragraph marks, all those three slashes, and replace them with paragraph marks. So let's do another control H. And I want it to find slash, slash, slash. I want to replace it with a paragraph mark, which is a caret, followed by a lowercase p. And I'm going to tell it to replace all. I think there was 270-some, 270 273. Click on OK. 
close. And now if we scroll through my document, let's go down to where the paragraphs get a little bit longer down here in the actual story, um, or actually right here. Uh, so we had paragraph marks at the end of every line here, um, but we got rid of them. They were replaced with spaces. And now what we have is a paragraph mark at the end of the paragraph. And now if I want to go into one of these paragraphs and I want to start typing in some more stuff, you know, as I do, the word wrap automatically works for me and it rebalances all the lines up to the next paragraph mark, which is the way that you want it to work in Word. So that's one example of uh, a useful example of using some of Word's codes for characters. The caret followed by a lowercase p will let you find any paragraph mark in your document.